Hi guys, welcome back, it's Vass. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you're returning, I'm happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to be answering some juicy questions. So it's just gonna be a sit down Q and A of some of the questions that you asked me on my Instagram story, where I asked you to come up with some questions that you want to know. I did ask to keep them as appropriate as possible, but some of you didn't follow that rule, so I'm not gonna be able to answer all of those questions because they were a little bit naughty. So if you want to find out some juicy gossip about me, carry on watching. Let's see. I got quite a few responses, which I'm really happy about. Thanks, guys. So, the first question I got was, what's it like being ginger? Honestly, it's actually very nice. I like being ginger. I mean, I must say, before, when I was a bit, little bit younger, I didn't really like my hair colour. I used to always get highlights, um, so I was blonde up until maybe like three, two, three years ago, I started growing my own hair out. So now it's all of my natural colour, which I'm really happy with. I also think being ginger is just so fun. Like there's not many gingers out there. So you always like stand out a little bit and I do have a soul. What is one outfit slash stage in your life that I regret? I must say I did go through quite a lot of different stages in growing up. Should I ring mum to tell her to like be quiet? It's catching everything. I know mum will. There's a new soda. Just a um, a bit quieter, please. Just if just listen a little bit, yeah, that is um, записывать. I'd probably say back in high school when everyone just wore skinny jeans, crop top and that like and those big black puffy coats with the fur hood yeah that's probably my biggest regret but to be fair everyone wore it so it's not like I was by myself doing it so that's alright yeah but that was back in like year 10, year 11 like the end of high school but I'm, I'm glad fashion found me and I am where I am now. Basically skinny jeans, that's all I have to say. Following up from the other one, someone just asked the biggest regret in general. I don't really know if I regret anything. I always think some things happen for a reason. So what everything that I've done has got me to where I am. So I don't know. I don't think I have any regrets to be honest. You know, I've realised I'm just perfect and it's everyone else around me that's got issues. Now I've realised that I'm probably just perfect and it's everybody else around me that's got issues. <gasps> I actually know my biggest regret but I can't say it on camera. Why? Because it's so bad. Yeah. yeah. What? That dude? Who? <laughs> no. No. I don't regret that. No. It. Not even like... Not even like my closest friends so. though. I don't know either. Well, you don't know, but I could tell you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know all of my embarrassing ones. Um, no. Please. Yeah. Yeah, that's my biggest crap. This is a good one. Um, something off your bucket list. I don't really have like a bucket list. Mentally, I do. But I'm not gonna ruin that. That was a bit weird. I wanted to do this for ages, but um, skydiving, that is like one of my top things that I really want to do. I don't know, I just think that would be so fun. And I just love things like that. So when everything opens back up, that'll be that'll be what I'm doing. Jumping off a plane. Why is so obsessed with me? That's what someone asked. One of my friends asked, who's your favorite friend? And just to not start any beef, I'm gonna say my favourite friend is my sister, so none of you can come for me. But everyone knows my my best friend is Kieslin, so if we're talking best friends, then her. Because I've known her longer, and she's like my childhood bestie, so I'm sorry Tilly. Someone asked, um, something you're scared of in the upcoming future other than A-levels? First off, I don't, I'm not really scared about A-levels. I know I'm gonna do well so I'm not worried. Maybe, maybe I would say like relationships. Like at this moment in time, I'm, I'm like not, I don't want to commit. Like I'm not a commitment person. Like I just think I'll be like alone 
not in a bad way like I, I do like being independent so I, I do I just don't think I do well in relationship so I guess that's something I'm worried about like not being not finding someone although I know there's someone out there for me but like right now I just don't see myself with anyone or like in a relationship and nothing serious that leads me on to the next question which is what is my relationship status I am single believe it or not I know I, d I don't know how I'm single either but turns out I am so you know because the position of a boyfriend is available so if there's any volunteers show yourself like I say I'm not a commitment person but a relationship might be nice like just someone to like have have that I know I don't need a boyfriend it's just like a it's just like an add-on it'll be a bonus to my life you know what I mean next is your opinion on body image as a gorgeous girl yourself thank you very much honestly um body image has been quite like it's been a problem in the past when I was a bit younger and I thought if I'm not pretty then that's it like I have nothing to go for me but I learned if you love yourself you can literally go anywhere in life every kind of body should be celebrated um, whether you're a bit bigger you're smaller everyone's beautiful I believe every kind of body should be accepted just the way they are and the key to it is is confidence if you are confident and you show that you're confident to others people are gonna think oh my god look how hot she is because as long as you exude that energy outwards people are gonna notice it and people are gonna think the same as you but if you come across all like shy and um, always say that you're ugly and you're fat and all that all that nonsense people are going to see that and people are going to think that if you have the mentality in thinking that you are like the sexiest person alive people are going to think that you're the sexiest person alive it works like that so although it's quite a hard thing to sort of get grasps of and understand that in yourself it all comes from loving yourself and saying it to yourself every day looking after yourself um, and at one point you will notice how amazing you are no matter what anyone thinks because myself doesn't give a fuck about anyone else's opinion and that is how you should live period so that was a little motivation boost for you all next question if you could live in any era of fashion what would it be i think everyone knows the answer to this and it's the 2000s um, like the early 2000s but it was all hot pink sparkly glitter just really cute funky hairstyles Paris Hilton vibes at the moment that is the life I'm living and I want to live I know before I used to be very into like the 90s but then it's just sort of like made its way to up to the 2000s I just love everything about the 2000s from like the low waist jeans to platforms and just cute colourful jewellery yeah 2000s all the way and it's funny because I was born in the 2000s if you could wear five colours for the rest of time what are you choosing? pink, blue, white, black and green what's your ideal girl? I mean <laughs> um, what's your ideal guy? my ideal guy tall like at least six foot. Like I like them tall. They have to be quite built. I want them to be able to pick me up, you know, cute face. And I'm really like into like golden retriever boys. If you know, you know. And obviously they've got to be funny and generous and all that. Oh, okay. Something you would change about yourself personality wise. I think I have a great personality. I think one thing that sort of like holds me back is I'm a little bit shy and a little bit quiet especially in front of like new people i can be a little bit more like distant and sort of hold back my opinion when i don't know someone that well so i'd probably say come across like a bit more confident and like social when it comes to like meeting new people yeah so i'd probably just change that because um just to be a little bit less awkward what would i rate myself out of 10 10 <laughs> and how good from 1 to 10 would you rate yourself? 10. 10. What's your body count? I don't know if I should be saying this. What, what are you on about? What body count? It's zero, obviously. No, I'm kidding. Um, I think it's f I think. Anyways. <laughs> T. 
I think I'll end it there. I tried to go through all of the questions that were submitted, but some were just a little bit dirty, so I'm sorry about that. But that'll be for another time. I hope you got to know a little bit more about me, maybe a bit more than you should have done. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, please let me know down below. But if you did like this video, please leave it a like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Now you lost. Lost in it. That's it. That's it.